what do you do ladies and gentlemen welcome to the crypto channel 329 today's video we are going to talk about my dca my position and how my portfolio is doing as you can see right here my total balance is three thousand four hundred and thirty four point forty eight dollars okay so this is the total amount i invest since i started my dca journey roughly around last week of july okay and it's been two months on okay and so far i managed to dca this 3.4k okay my total um my 24 hour put for change so i'm in profit 31.47 within the last 24 hours and total loss is 161.97 so that means you know i've been dca but you know some of these tokens that are some of these coins that i've been buying um they went a bit lower so that's why you see the total loss profit of 161 dollars okay <clears throat> over here we can see the majority of the coins that have been uh, dca obviously not everyone will pop up because some of them is just one percent so for example this one two percent two percent one percent okay and uh, they all they are it only shows shows the the ones that I have more uh, money inside it, that that coin. Okay, so if you scroll further down, we can see that my list got a little bit bigger. So in total, I have 41 coins that have been DCA. Okay, so we can do it for coins. Obviously, Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum is going to be here. Okay, Ma mainly I'm tra I'm I'm DCA on coins of the top 100 and um, top 300. Okay, I would say top 300 coins. Okay, so these are the coins that I've been trading: Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, Avax, Uniswap, Chainlink. Cosmos, FTX, Near, Crow, Seller, and the list goes on. Okay, so not every coin that I'm DCA will do well in a bull market, but it's a gamble. Okay, and you know, while they are cheap, okay, I am gonna chip in a little bit whenever I can to increase my position. Okay, so one thing is for sure all of these coins that i have here right all of them are down at least 80 percent okay they are down at least 80 percent so even if they don't do 10x 5x they will do probably one or well two or three x's okay and i will be happy with that okay so for instance i have 40 coins right here okay so let's say half of those those coins they will do in average 2.5x okay so the first 20 20 coins will do in average 22.5x okay and the other 20 coins will do let's say 6x okay so that means in average i will get um 8.5x okay so i have 40 coins okay i will divide it by 8.5x okay so that means in average my portfolio will be multiplied by 4.7 okay my goal is to dca all the way to ten thousand dollars okay before the bull run okay so if i manage to get ten dollars i will be happy with that okay so let's say i have ten thousand dollars right there before the bull run and my portfolio will be 47k okay so from 10 ten thousand dollars right now and then when a book bull, bull run comes okay in average so let's say i do 4.6x on my portfolio i will be uh sitting on 47k okay so that's my game plan that's why i've been dca because you know millionaires and people get wealthy on the bear market when all these coins are in discount okay because when uh, they start pumping god damn they will pump hard so for instance let's say let's have a look at avax avalanche so avalanche at some point 
was trading above one hundred dollars okay so one hundred and forty four dollars so all time high so let's say avalanche goes to on a bull run goes to um, 120 okay so avalanche at the, pri uh, the more current price is $17 so if avalanche goes to 120 so let's say $18 times 6x 6 plus 18 so 126 that's 7x okay so avalanche if goes back to $120 that's going to be 7x right so let's say I have over here 153 153 or actually um, we're going to do let's say 9 AVAX I have 9 AVAX times $120 okay so 9 times 120 there you go so my investment which is at the moment 153 will become 1080 okay that's why I like to DCA and I've been DCA so crow you know crow it's a hidden gem and I believe eventually these this token will blow up but you know if you look at the crow crow at some point was trading at 50 cents I think it was 50 cent. I, I remember seeing Crow at 15 cent. Oh, 96 cents. Okay. 96 cents. Even if this thing goes to 50 cents, you know, that's a 5x from where we are. Okay. 5x. And how much I have on Crow? You know, 129. So uh, we'll do 129 times 5x. So that's uh, just seven, just below 700. And, you know, that's, that's just how it goes. So, for example, Ave okay so if you look at Ave we will see that the all-time high was 690 661 so 88% down even if they don't go all-time high if they go halfway or three-quarters of the way okay I'll be happy I will be making money so Ave is currently trading at uh, 75 so let's say 75 times 4 is uh, 300 yeah times 4x that's 300 even if Ave goes halfway that's a 4x okay 4x right there okay even though I only have $56 okay 5 times 4 is 4 200 okay so that's how I'm looking to make profit but you know this is a long-term play okay guys that's why we do DCA dollar cost average okay and my DCAs are between 10 and 15 dollars okay obviously you know Bitcoin and Ethereum they are more expensive so I've been DCA with 15 dollars every time I do DCA but all the other coins I do between 10 and 15 some days where uh, the market is all red you know I will have to DCA in more coins so that means I will have less um, less funds available for each coin so I will have to do this year uh, ten dollars this year per coin but if I only have to DCA for instance let's say the last 24 hours uh, uh, if I only have to DCA the last 24 hours so for example I'm gonna DCA quant and let's say Yota all right and this one right here link okay so I can put fifteen dollars because it's just three coins okay so when is just a few coins I will put a bit more when they are a bunch of coins you know the budget is small so I'll have to spread out for each coin okay and over here we can see the holdings right my holdings from the highest to the lowest and the PNL okay so obviously my biggest gain right here is quant right so I'm up forty dollars or thirty percent okay XRP next link uh, atom cake I'll go and the list goes on and my biggest losses is phantom okay so I was buying phantom at 30 something I think it was 33 cents okay and then eventually phantom start dropping so that's why I see 24 near I bought near around four dollars as well okay and uh, you know 
AVAX and all that. Okay, you can see the losses. So these ones that I'm that I'm losing big time. Okay, now I uh, try to chip in a little bit more to compensate. So if you open Phantom, if you look at transactions in Phantom, okay, we can see the prices that I purchased Phantom. So back then when I started start my DCA 19th of July, okay, we can see that I was buying Phantom at 34 cents, okay, $10, 34 cents, and uh, that's why you see the minus $3, minus $2, because I was buying a higher price in comparison to, to today's price, okay, and as you can see, you know, the, the market continued to drop, and now I'm buying 22 cents per Phantom, okay, so back then, now I'm buying $10 worth of Phantom, and give me 44 back then i was only getting 28 okay so now to compensate this i will uh, invest 15 dollars you know because the price of the phantom is low like 22 dollar 22 cents so then it will compensate so that the average net cost will drop because i will buy more quantity of phantom at lower price and then this average net cost will drop okay that's why i like to use CoinGecko coin gecko because it shows you all this stuff okay and you can have an estimate and what to do next in order to compensate these profits and losses okay but yes guys i just wanted to give you a quick update about my dca uh, strategy okay and uh, yes i'm still using the 4.5 and above red okay to dca and if i don't DCA for like two three days i will look at the past seven days and the ones that you know uh, for example this I would this year and this one this year this one and I would buy okay so even even if this one over here last 24 hours is only down 0.27 I would this year anyway because is 4.9 percent down from the past seven days okay but yes guys it depends on your budget my budget um, is not big so I'm only investing like from 100 to 200 a day okay if that sometimes I don't DCA because sometimes the market doesn't go down okay but I intend to DCA whenever I can and whenever the market is down because now is the opportunity to you know get those coins in while you can while they are in bargain because when they go up my man you best believe they will do you a few X's. Like I said to you, I intend to reach K and once I reach 10K, uh, I'm hoping to do at least four, five, four to five X on my DCA. So if I reach 10K, if I'm if I make 50K, I will be super happy. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna cut this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned in for the next one. Have a beautiful day. Peace.